up everybody chris south carolina gun school out here training to learn 2024 with my buddy clayton from pivotal defense uh, we wanted to take a minute and talk about an upcoming collaboration class that we have going on. Uh, called Santa Rides the Night. <laughs> <laughs> we actually are, what we're doing is called a, we're calling it the medical gunfighter. Uh, we're going to incorporate what he knows with the medical and the training he has with my handgun tactics 201. So this is going to be shooting and medical all in one uh just like uh, mike and i were just talking about yep. there's a very small percentage of people that do that and i think it's definitely great that we've gotten together on this i know we did it last year we beta tested it here at greenwood i want to make that clear of where we're standing yes we we got it we cannot i want to make this clear we can't we can't just start talking about this not acknowledge where we beta tested that class right exactly we beta tested it right here on this property our greenwood um kevin dixon's property uh it's so that was great I, lear I learned a lot from that class on things that I needed to add in there, things I need to take out, things I could do better at. Um, this guy, I don't know what the hell he was trying to teach, but it was something <laughs> about running guns. He thinks he knows what he's talking about, but it's all good. Well, and we both learned a, a lot that we needed to make adjustments to. Yes. And we kind of had separated a little bit, and now this is going to be more of everything's going to be combined. in there in there combined. You're not going to do handgun one day, medical another day. You're going to be doing handgun and medical all in the same day. We're going to throw in maybe some scenarios. We're not going to get too much into that. If you want to find out what these scenarios are going to be, you definitely need to get signed up. Yep. Uh, it's going to be on my website, scgunschool.com. He'll have it up on his website and everything. Yep. So, And if you've got questions, you know, definitely reach out to either one of us. We'll be able to answer any questions. Now, we're not going to ask your, answer any questions questions about the scenarios nope we're just gonna let you know you need to show up because these are gonna be some bomb ass scenarios now and it's, it's gonna push your limits and your your thought process we learned yesterday from the brain range yes um, it's gonna push your thought process and your decision making process and how quickly you can decide on these actions right but we're not gonna go too thick in the weeds on that but it's important to understand this is why we came up with this class in this collaboration because people understand that medical is important as well i just talked to mike martin michael martin's a good friend of mine you just did something with michael martin as well we all took medical yesterday with him and the, the importance of medical training is is, is there. And people, more people need to understand it and take these classes seriously. Uh, it's it's just one of those things where you're going to be pushed. You may or may not cuss us out and hate us after, afterwards, but you'll thank us in the end because it's going to make you a better person, a better first responder for you and yourself and your family. Um, really? Really, guys? That's right. what? I know. But no, it's 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 very important to get these skill sets, whether it's pistol, medical, rifle, all these, because we all talk about training and why it's important. It's always about the why. And, and even though we're combining medical with handgun, the skills you're going to learn with the medical will be able to be correlated over to other things yep. besides just a gunshot. Or you stab. might have, Or stabbing. You might come up on a car accident. Somebody might have fallen down steps at work you might be out in public and somebody trips and falls and breaks an arm cracks a head open yeah. I mean, anything there, there's there's so much so many yeah. accidents that happen it's not just correlating I mean, to self-defense you know people don't need to understand too like you know i i came across a car accident not too long ago yes yep. and what people need to understand is how do you react to that situation well i i reacted i did what i needed to do I mean, broken glass can cut people as well. I mean, broken glass happens in car accidents, right? It's just a thing of nature. But sharp edges, the people want to try to get out of the car quickly, they can cut themselves. Not that it was an accident that caused the bleeding. They just, oh crap, I gotta, I gotta get out of this vehicle. Oh shit, now I'm bleeding, now what? So let me ask you this. You took that class last year with me. Yes. What was your medical experience prior to that? <laughs> I knew how to put a tourniquet on. Did you? Or did you think you know how to put a tourniquet on? I, no, I mean, I knew how to put a tourniquet. You put, you, you, I knew how to put a tourniquet on. I, I under. I will say this: I understood chest seals and how they yeah. work, but now I have a better understanding no, of actually, that. And not just that. One thing is the ops, the different options you have if you don't have a chest seal. Sheesh, motherfucker. Sheesh. So I'm not going to go into all yeah, that, yeah, but there's yeah. there's a lot of stuff you're, there. You're going, you're going a little deep there. There's, there's another great thing that he did 
that absolutely blew my mind. Mm -hmm. It blew Kevin Dixie's mind. Yep. We're not, you, again, you're going to have to come out to this stuff because yeah. you're going to learn a lot because there was a lot of stuff I thought I knew, but I did not. And the, all I'm going to say is it involves tourniquets. That's mm -hmm. all I'm going to say. Let me ask you this. What was, if it was that one thing that we're not going to speak of, what was your biggest takeaway from that class? That. That? Yeah. That. Cool. I, and that was, I, that was a lot of, that was the number one feedback that I got from that. And, and, and it, it correlates also into gear as well, too. It, it so I'll throw a hint out there. It correlates into gear. So you need to understand your gear. You, you need to stop talking. <laughs> Shut up. I'll bet. I'm we, like, we, want, we want people I'll, to come I'm take like, the class. I'm like Katie sometimes. Sometimes I get too far into it. But I mean, I get it, though. We want people to come take the class. We don't want people to know everything. You, you definitely, you got to get signed up for this. You need to come out. Tell you what, if you guys, if you, if you guys sign up, you get on the class. You're automatically now. He told me this this weekend. He automatically told me you're already on Santa's good list. <laughs> Just making that clear. You're already on. The, you're already on the good list, not the naughty list. The good list. So who knows? Maybe you might get something out of this. Maybe Santa. Maybe Santa will bring a gift and, bag. Oh, let's, and I, I can't forget too. Um, at the time of the class, too, I want to make this clear. If, if you do participate, if you register for the class. If my suppliers have it in stock, which they more than likely will, and I get them in time, you'll be walking away with a med kit. And the other thing is the day after. Oh, yes. He is also going to be hanging around. So Saturday's the medical gunfighter. Sunday, he is going to be doing, it's a how to build a, yep. a how med. Yep, how to build med kit. Yes. And that's going to be short. That's, I mean, it ain't going to be long, but it's going to be basically a class of basically the importance of what you should have in uh, your med kit and why you should have med kits with you at all times. Yes. So, so if you're looking, you're not sure what Which, med kit to get, how to do your med kit, what needs to go in that med kit. Because, yep. you know, a lot of people think, all right, med kit, I've got band-aids, I've got bandages. No, we're, we're talking, talking about that. Yes. We're, we're talk, we'll talk about that. Yeah. I mean, now we got to get you a new med kit now, but we'll get you squared away. You know? <laughs> yeah. Um, Actually, I need two new med kits. get you a new med kits? All right, well, I'll get you. I got you covered on that. I got some at home. I'll mail them. We're going we're gonna to do some trauma dressing on the vehicles. <laughs> um, no, nah, man, but I appreciate the friendship over the last couple of years. It's because of this event. Let's, let's talk about this event for a second, first of all. Yes. Before we end this, what I mean, it's because of this event that you and I have been able to do this class. Exactly. The purpose of Train Learn was to collaborate with people, do all these things, content creation, marketing, business, all this stuff. And it's because of one, I've got, gained a lot, of, a lot of friends from this event, you included. Um, that other guy, I think his name is, I don't know, Tony Simon? I don't know. <laughs> no. Tony's a good dude. But we met, I'm a, I've met so many great people here that have supported my business and, you know, no, hold on. Just, I'm going to say our business. Let me get that clear because I am not just the owner of Pivotal Defense. There is another owner of the business. Unfortunately, she's not here. We um, needed somebody to bail us out in case we got in trouble. <laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs> that, that could still happen. We got time. I know, right? We got time. That could, still, that I could very well it. still happen. I haven't seen cars fly out of here yet, but that, that could very um, well still happen. But yeah, it, it, it's important to get this events like this, invest in yourself, your personal growth, and your business, and take this shit seriously because um, I honestly wouldn't be doing the things I would be doing from and learn from this event. I'm going to throw this out there. I'm pretty sure he's going to pretty case? much be on board with it. No, we'll save that for the training. Damn it. Um, if you can't make it to our event and you want this, hit us up. We'll come to you. We will come to you. But now, one thing you need to understand, there is live fire involved, so yes. we are going to need a safe place to shoot. I'm not saying it's got to be a range, but we can't be doing it in your backyard, in your subdivision, because I don't think your HOA is going to really like that too much. <laughs> you will need a safe place to shoot. If we have enough people get together, we will come to you. Whether, wherever you're at, we will get together and we will set it up and we can come to you. And I want to try to bring this to Minnesota and so decide your place, but I got no, yeah. Ranges. I mean, we could probably do it at this one spot that I got. Actually, we probably could, but yeah, it's we'll come to you. And if you want to get, I'm just gonna throw this out there if you want just pistol training and rifle training, and you're near this guy, take it. And if you're near this guy, pistol and rifle training, as well as medical, I'll be honest. I, I know enough to get by with the medical. I'm not going to be teaching medical. Um, I would be referring you 
to him. So if that is something you're near me, you want some medical training, let me know. I'll get with him. We get enough people together and set up a class. We can do a medical class. So yeah, it, I mean, don't don't short yourself on the, the medical. medical. A lot of people do. We all hear that you be your own first responder, and this is that medical class absolute part of that yeah so um i'm with that man i appreciate the the interview and the conversation like always yes i'm excited for october 5th third fourth fourth and fifth is what we're doing because you can't do the shooting thing yeah i can't i can't pew pew you know my neighbors well you do pew pew a little bit right now but that's because it's hot as shit out here right exactly exactly no man yeah well it's october 4th 5th i'll have dates and stuff on the screen here somewhere you can register for that class at his site if you're going to stay the next day for how to build a med kit that's on my website at pibbledefensellc.com if you have questions, reach out. And, and I've you, got it on my website as far as the build the kit oh, yeah, you thing. Do. Uh, yeah, it'll pretty much link you back to his website, but it's on my website as well, too. Yep. I'm going to have both our websites up here on the screen as well, too. Yep. And the, the last thing I want to mention real quick is get out and check out this guy's YouTube channel. He's putting out some great information just like everybody Try else. Him. So make sure you get over there. Um, I'll have his channel linked in somewhere up here as well, too. So make sure you get out there show him some love check out his youtube channel as well too and always remember folks if you're not shooting you're reloading if you're not reloading you're fighting if you're not fighting you're dead train to live see you on the range What's up, everybody? Chris, South Carolina Gun School, out here at Train and Learn 2024 with my buddy Clayton from Pimble. We're gonna start that fucking over. The, the, let it roll. Let it roll. The, the, Jeez, what, uh, me a no, I'm gonna start over. It's been a, it's been a long day, man. It's hot. That's all good. Let it ride. Let it ride. Let it ride. All right.